guys, welcome back to another episode of Raven's Reviews. <clears throat> Today we're back playing some more Assassin's Creed Mirage. Last time we left off... Oh my god, I had to sneeze, I'm sorry. Last time we left off, um, we'd just done one of the little side quests, um, and I said that I was going to head to a Reeb at the end of that episode. Um, not a Reeb. Or was it a Reeb? I can't remember anymore. I said that I was going to do this one. Yeah, a Reeb. We're not doing that. We're gonna find. We're gonna do this one because as I was running around, this quest just sort of procked by itself. Um, I think it's because I was gonna go for the uh, the viewpoint here. Apparently, this is the the tallest part of the map on this game. Um, but yeah. You, my so now we will uh, we'll do this one. Okay, um, listening by the window. Okay, no worries. Eavesdrop. Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabitha is a great human, Farah. <laughs> she was. While Al Mutawakil lived, but her son did not succeed him. And her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira. And try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants, okay. new, new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Open door? It's not letting me open door. Yeah, it's... Oh, so I was sort of saying, if I get a uniform, then he'll let me in. Um, let's... Okay, apparently there's something 100 meters this way. So, maybe we try and have a look. I need your eyes, my friend. Okay, there's that. And then... Right, we'll try this guy first, I guess. That looks like a good fit. Shame someone is already wearing it. Wear a eunuch's tunic to get into the harem and take a eunuch by force. Okay, fine. Let us just move you out of the way. Hide the eunuch. That's fine. We'll just put you in here. And I will take your clothes. I didn't kill him. I just knocked him out a little. Uh, so let me go inventory. We can put a new disguise on. A bit tight across the chest. And gut. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that means... That means that we can... Sneak through this door now. Work. Looks like it. Tomahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira, assalamu alaikum. You know him, Makira? Um, I... What? You have forgotten me already. No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. Oh, 
Cool. So we're in. Search for the office. Okay, looks like the office is this way. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a Kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Ummu Walad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some... I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything. Even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. So we're just helping her get a date, effectively. I paint and magic potion. Seriously? Okay. Seems easy enough, though. Let me just read some of these letters quickly. Do 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 do. So what is this? Nice. Magic Didn't potion? even have to do a skill check for it. Ah, I see. Alcohol. Why do I need to learn algebra? I am never going to need it. I feel that. I feel that, child. Do not worry. Um. Is it out? No, it's not out. Okay. Where? Ah, it's just in the next room across. Open this door. Go in here. I'm just gonna push this over here. Bigger eyes. Get the makeup. Add to my disguise. <laughs> Focus, Basim. We need that key. Paint and potion acquired. Now to get that key. Cool. So we'll go trade these in for a key. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions. But I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body... It's secrets. It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just hmm. get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, Perfect. not be one. Ah, I'm not supposed to be up here, am I? Can I not whistle? That guy's... Oh, wait, yeah, I'm... I'm infamous, aren't I? Are you lost? You cannot be here. 
Shut up. Get the book. Where's the book? You see nothing. I don't have any things to throw. Fuck. Um. Okay, what about... I'm just going to have to take him out, aren't I? Just to play it safe. Come on. What? Get over here. Come investigate. Who? You fucking loony. I will catch you. Are you not gonna move? Oh, it's boring. Okay. So if you won't move, I guess. There's two guys over there. Three guys over there. That door's barred as well. Hey! Mine! Oh, he, he burst it himself. What an idiot. That helped me out. Quarters fit for a Khalifa. Right. Let's just eat that quickly. The book, the book, the book. It's over here. The garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. So it's just smart, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Alright, one bar this door and go out this way. And go back the way we came, which was this way? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I thought we'd screwed it up when I went when I rushed that big guy, but luckily it worked out alright. Oh yeah, I need to put it in our room, don't I? Not with her. Abu Abdullah's ambition knows no bounds. Is this her room? I not still believe you will take the throne. Have you met his mother? Where do I leave the book? Is this your room? Ah, this one. There we go. There you are. Enjoy. And I am going to steal your stuff. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I think I have created a monster. Imagine. I just pickpocket the key off her at that point. The book is in your room. Is she now. drunk? So, are my eyes bigger? Yes. Huge. Makira, I need the key. This. Portion, it, it gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yeah, she's definitely yes, drunk. I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. <laughs> Put your foot down. So I'm reverse pickpocketing this time, which is interesting. Oh, 
Oh wait, did I? Back there we go. You belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. Makira, come on. It is done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. There we go. Right, now we can get in the office. I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar. And perhaps in the harem. But on who? Oh, I remember. The one that had the blood in it. A hairpin. Nings. When did Kabiha get it? Ah, it's all starting to to add up now into a signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the and the same and map the dove, from the one we looked map at. Of the Khilafa and Alamut. Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to be missing, including Kabiha herself. Oh, uh oh. What is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just a study of native herbs, their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them, Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear, spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. Well, damn, I was not expecting that. I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the Order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer at her hands. I don't know why I went back in here. Um, okay, case closed. We'll take this costume off now. We'll go back to the one that we always wear. Um, and go to the investigation tab. Where are we going now? I guess now we're gonna go and do the Arib thing. Right, let's do it. Where is it on the, uh, on the map? It's all the way up here. Do I have a close fast travel? Nah, looks like we're just running it. Fine by me. And it's good though, because that means when I want to go back and do that waypoint, I can put on that costume and get probably majority of the way without being seen. But anyway, let's find a read now, shall we? What be Hmm. 
Hmm. There we go. What beautiful homes. Far different from the slums of Anbar. We'll go up this way, swing up right. The home of the poetess. Oh, that scared fans. me. They are very well armed, if so. Let us hope she is home. Well, let's see if she's home then, shall we? Sounds like it. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayidi. Enough, Sayidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. So it looks like she's... potentially wearing the mask then. Foolish nickname secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. Imagine her being, like, the head of it all, though. I just can't... I can't place that. I really can't. But I guess these letters will reveal more. So let's go and... Have a little look, shall we? Postal Bureau. Let me grab this first. I will do as the Huyun do. Sift through strangers' mail and sniff out conspiracies. Oh, okay. Okay, you're not letting me in. Okay. Oh, I, hey, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There's no need. Uh, why am I stuck on people? He's still out there. Ooh. Oh my god, there's a lot of people. Okay. I did see a door down by the side, though. So, once this uh, this notoriety goes away, we'll see if we can get in that side door. I just need to wait to be free. Because otherwise I'll walk out, I'll get sighted by somebody, and it's just a whole process. So we'll wait for this flashing yellow wire to go away. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Door barred. Okay, that door's barred. That's fine. That door's also barred. I'll just clear my notary after. Um, okay, so if both the doors are barred, I guess that means the only way in is up. We'll sulk around here, sneak around here, and we'll get rid of him.
And Bruin. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, the letters are down there. Did I get the? Yeah, I got the chest. Okay, cool. Um. There must be mail here. Ow. I don't know. Ow, stop it. There we go. There must be mail in every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find Arib's. Silence your get song that. of sin or I get will these. do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. After the honey drips from her lips, a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. The garden recital. Cool. So I guess that's the next one we're going to do. So it looks like there's probably this one and then maybe one more in this corner and then... We'll go straight for the main one there. So I guess we'll we'll go and do this. Let me just remove my markers because this is getting a bit cluttery. It's a bit annoying. Attend the recital. Okay. I will I'm, go to the garden. Yeah. Give a thal of her letter and follow where she goes. I'm guessing it's, uh, is it this? It's got to be this, right? Be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone. How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayyida needs to be. And you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Here we go. Let's do it. Okay, well. Oh. Right, can we... Can we just... Good. 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 Good.
Bad. left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden hey, and Oh, you fucking... Are you kidding? Right. Let's try this out then, shall we? Ow. Oh, okay, you're not a normal guy. Oh, yeah, he definitely was not a normal guy. I thought he was a big dude. He's not. He's one of the faster moving guys. Fuck. It's also so hard to parry them guys. Alright, let's try this again then, shall we? I'll probably see if I can skip the cinematic though. Be you ocean, desert, cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Unfortunately, I cannot skip it. Unless. No. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. How came you by that letter? I work in the dock. Okay, there, yeah, there we go. Skip, 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 skip. skip. We'll get one of these guys. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalam to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. Follow the mouse symbols. Ah, these ones. How far will the fox flee? Okay. So, uh, is that another one over here? No. I hate these type of missions, man. Um, yeah, so that's... Ah, oh, there's another one over here. Okay, do I need to, do I need to examine this one too? Or... There's another one over there. Over this way. Another painted mouse. That one. There's a horse over here. I'm just gonna go to the to the donkey. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. Same, bro. Okay, so that one there, and then and then what? <laughs> Normally, you can see the next one from the last one, but ah, uh, I see it. There we go. Finally. You should bring him before the Mazalin court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricture or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners. So many men have tried to decide my enemies. 
and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly. He hid himself well. And a poet needs patrons. Even one so great as al -Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. Hmm. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Arib herself, but an admirer. I have seen enough from my three suspects. Time to seek Roshan's counsel and end this once and for all. Okay. I'm getting the feeling that maybe our mentor might be the leader of all of this, but then I don't understand why it would be her. So, I don't know. But this is probably where I'm going to leave this episode, guys, after we do this little chat. Um, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Who you think it could be, if it's somebody we've met before, if it's somebody who we work for, or maybe it's somebody completely brand new. I want to hear what you think down below in the comments, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification icon so you know when all of my videos go live. It's completely free and it means the world to me and it helps me out an absolute ton. If you guys want to catch up on the series, there is a description link down below. I highly recommend you go and watch it as this series is probably now coming to a close, guys. Um, and we will be returning with other series. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Let's speak to Rashan. You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Happen. Just as we had feared. We've been bare to our enemies. Yes. In exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by his mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice. And I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, th that is not. A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind. To walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Gabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha? Or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor. Without whom, I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemies, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. So many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al-Bahamut. 
The last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? Some worthless token of a long forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace, and I will cut the head from the snake. Well, damn. Assassinate Haiba. I think that's how they said her name. A head of the Order of the Ancients has fled her rooms of the harem and hidden quickly so hidden herself within the capital palace. The grounds are likely to be well guarded, given how the last community is end. Yet there will be a select few on the premise that Kahiba would trust with her secrets. Look for ways to infiltrate the Kahifa Palace. Well, this looks like the end, guys. Well, not this episode anyway, but next episode definitely will be. Um, I'm probably going to leave that for now. But yeah, this is potentially the penultimate episode, guys. Um, we've now reached Master, so we're definitely going to stick that on quickly. See what that looks like. Oof. Looking, looking high and mighty over here with a 7 on it, it looks like. Or maybe just some sort of, I don't know, mark. But yeah, like I said, this is where I'm going to leave this episode, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I know I've already said it, but it really does mean a lot to me. Um, but yeah, hopefully you will have a blessed day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, guys.